you talked to you the other day. You said you were just going to kind of chill around, watch some movies, play some video games. What was, what was yesterday like? Yes, yeah, that's, that's exactly what I did. <laughs> you know, try to distract myself, but just laying by my phone, you know, just kind of waiting. So. When you got that call, what was what was that like? Um, I don't really get a call. Like, it's more like we had a team meeting at one o'clock, and it's like if you don't get a call by the team meeting, then you're good. So it's like I still, you know, didn't know all the way up to that team meeting, but. Once we got in there, he said, like, congratulations to everybody in here. So that's when I kind of realized that I made it. What was the feeling like at that moment? Like, um, you know. I felt relieved and I felt like, you know, excited, proud, you know, a lot of emotions. You know, but at the same time, I'm not satisfied. You know, I still got a long ways to go to, to be where I want to be at. What does it mean that this team kept every single one of their draft picks? Is that kind of a point of pride for you guys? Yeah, I mean, for one, I think it means that they had a pretty successful draft, you know, if they wanted to keep their guys. And it means that they see, you know, potential in us. So it, it's a good feeling to have all the guys that I came in with still here. This wide receiver room without Devontae Adams, it's kind of a new chapter within the wide receiver room. Do you feel like you guys could start your new kind of core of of wide receivers in the room and carry that on for many years to come? Yeah, I mean, it's up to us, you know, to set the standard, you know, for the receiver room and for the offense. So we just want to go out there and be able to, to make plays, be explosive, and, and hopefully just have a high-powered offense like they have the past couple of years. I know nothing's given to you. I mean, you made the 53-man roster. You want to be out there every week. Are these practices leading up to week one a little bit stress-free? Uh, no, it's not a whole lot of stress-free stuff going on, you know, when you're at the highest level. Um, it's really just about focusing on, on our opponent, you know, in Minnesota, and just making sure we're sharper than we have been all camp because, you know, the real game stuff. Man.